Loin d'abord. Guys and welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Powerline 415. Now, this is a gun put out by Daisy. Really nice pistol. Um, Powerline line is actually really nice. I don't purchase too many of them uh, just because I couldn't find them always in my local area. But it is a great gun and I really like it a lot. It has a lot of nice little features. Uh, the uh, downfalls, there are a couple, but I can get to those in a sec. Now, first off, you're getting a gun that sort of looks similar to an MMP, maybe a cross between an MMP and a Taurus 24-7 uh, tactical. Really nice long slide, real good sight picture. It has a fiber optic front sight, which is actually really nice and very visible in daytime use. Um, and actually, nighttime use isn't bad either. The, uh, the magazine is located up on the top of the pistol. It's an internal magazine, so what you have to do is pull back the spring, lock it into position, and then fill the BBs into this little hole. Reloading can take a few minutes unless you figure out a way to actually do it. And I was using a, uh, a BB gun reloader um, that I had gotten with my uh, H&K BB gun. And it actually worked out really nice in this. Just put it over the top. Uh, sometimes I'd have one or two miss the hole and fall out. But overall, worked out really nice. You uh, fill the, the reservoir and then release the spring, putting the BBs under tension, and you're good to go. Uh, you can get some really nice rapid fire shots off with this gun. It really worked out really, really nice. Um, the uh, safety's on the side red, fire, and then to uh, switch back over to safe. When it's in safe mode, you cannot activate the trigger, but as soon as you flip it over to the fire mode, you can feel that there's some tension there and the barrel's actually moving inside the gun. It pops out and then loads the BB and then slams back when it fires. Um, pretty straightforward, really nice design. It works out. It's the actual design of the gun, or internals as far as, uh, are sort of similar to the uh, Powerline 15 XT, but uh, as far as an internal magazine and then the barrel moving in and out like that. Now, the magazine. Uh, or what would be the magazine well is actually where you place your CO2 cartridge. Uh, you have this nice little bolt here on the end, really designed really well. I actually was able to twist it really nice and fast and tighten it down really snug without having any air bleed off, which is actually really great. Some of the other guns I have, not really that well designed in that area. Um, the other piece is the bottom half of the magazine. You just go ahead and slide that in and you can pop it up and then pretend to rack the slide if you wanted to if you're short of training um, you know with a pistol as far as using the air gun as a training tool uh, overall a really great gun I don't know if I'd go hunting with it or hunt some more varmints with it um, just because I was having a little bit of an issue with CO2 always holding the pressure uh, sometimes it would shoot a little bit softer than you know others but it definitely can cut through a can uh, cut through a soup can so it can definitely do some damage on a small pest or varmint but I would use it at close range. Um, something, you know, longer distance if you really wanted to, just get an air rifle. But overall, for CO2 pistols, it's a really nice pistol, and it actually works out really well. So any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, if you can, please subscribe. And uh, you guys have a good one. Be safe, take care, and we'll definitely talk to you soon.